Good evening, I'm Juliette Gregis. A father is accused of manslaughter and child abuse after his 16-year-old severely autistic son drowned in their backyard pool in Ottawa County. But in a family statement, relatives say they never saw signs of abuse and remember Sam Coates as a smiling boy who loved to run. As 13 on your side's Phil Dawson reports, sometimes Sam would show up at a neighbor's house. People walking on the bike path say they would often see Sam in his backyard, not speaking, but always very active. And sometimes he would wander off down Port Shelton and show up in somebody's yard. He was just wandering, not knowing really where he was going, I don't think. My name is Sharon Walters. He didn't act threatening or anything like that. Sharon Walters says she met Sam Coates in the summer of 2017 in her driveway, about a third of a mile from Sam's house in Georgetown Township. I had never seen him before. I got in my car and all of a sudden there was this face in my window. <laughs> it was like, oh boy. He wasn't speaking, he was just kind of grunting. And I didn't know if he was autistic or if he was just mentally handicapped. He took off, so I went in the house and I called 911. The complaint states you did cause the death of Samuel Coates, leaving the child unattended in a backyard with access to a swimming pool. Last March, Sam drowned in the family's above ground backyard pool and his father, Timothy Coates, is facing involuntary manslaughter and child abuse charges, accused of leaving his son alone in the backyard, arms in restraints with access to the pool. It is commonly called involuntary manslaughter. How often would you see him? Oh, he was outside by himself in the summer, just about every day. We realized that he had uh, limitations, that he had some kind of a birth defect. Sam had a severe form of autism with the intellectual ability of a 13-month-old. He didn't speak, was not toilet trained, wouldn't keep his clothes on, a baby in an adolescent's body. One of the times we saw him, he had part of his clothes off, if not all. They had a tether on him to, so he wouldn't run away, but other than that, he walked with his parents. Not being close enough to him to communicate with him, I really don't know much about him. The last time anyone called the police to tell them Sam had wandered off onto their property was in July of 2017, just over a year and a half before his death. In Georgetown Township, Phil Dawson, 13, on your side.